A hundred episodes is a lot. Man, a lot of adventures along the way. It is about 50 more than I thought we were going to be It's about 47 off. more hand injuries than I thought I was going to have. It's, uh, I thought we would be dead by now. <laughs> yes. To be honest with you. But we're sitting pretty, man. A year and a half into this experiment, we are now at 500,000 subscribers. We're halfway to that golden play button. 100 videos, 500,000 subscribers. Thanks to you. Yeah, man. Tell your friends. And if you want to take your pledge to the next level, join us over at patreon.com slash modern rogue, forming a whole community right behind the scenes. Thanks, guys. Thanks again. Help us get to the next hundred. You can probably just cut that part off. Because that was dumb. <laughs> leave all this. Or you can leave all this. <laughs> hey, you want to have a lemon party? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't... Is that bad? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right. Lemon party for me! <laughs> I'm a modern. The modern road discovers electricity. All right, Murphy, we got lemons, we got a bunch of assorted garbage, and we have the taser that we made years ago on the show. What are we doing? We are going to charge that taser with lemons. Okay, now our goal is to create electricity using nothing but household garbage and create enough electricity to channel it into something extremely dangerous and stupid. When life gives you lemons, you make a taser. Okay, done. All right, so we've got the lemons. I know that it's possible to create a battery with any acidic solution. And as long as there's an anode and a cathode, usually it's zinc and copper, right? I have a vague understanding of it, but you have to have two different types of metals to be your positive post and your negative post. You can have like paper clips or nails and then like copper wire or wiring you harvest from things around the house. we should talk about this. Uh, you can harvest wiring from the most astonishing of places. Yeah. If you just want to conduct electricity, you can actually just twist it out of tin foil. Yeah, you can take the tin foil, twist it up, and make yourself uh, some wiring there. Right. Think about this. You go to Arby's and you get a sandwich that's wrapped in the foil. Take that. Earlier examples, you could use the foil on foil wrappers for gum. Most of them don't use that anymore. Most of them are paper. As a matter of fact, you could take the backing off of insulation, this foil, will conduct electricity. Yeah, that would probably work. And then as your insulator, you could put it in a straw. You could even use like uh, the twist ties from like bread. <laughs> For our purposes, we're actually gonna use copper wiring that yeah, I got so off the internet. A quick search online shows that anything galvanized is usually covered in zinc, so that the zinc takes longer to rust before the steel would. So zinc is one of our two metals here, and then you just grabbed copper, but you could get copper out of any, anything from a pair of headphones to you name it, a penny or whatever. Yeah, exactly, and I just got this off the internet. It's 20 gauge copper wire, 50 feet, super cheap. All right, I guess you just stick this guy in and, and then you want to clip that one off? Yeah, let's clip a little bit of copper wiring. Now you want to get them close together, but not to where they're and not actually, too close, not to where they're touching. Yeah, I, I, I like the aesthetics of this. You just kind of, here. Oh! Look at that. I got you. Look at that. I don't know if we have them close together enough or not. I don't know, let's find out. Yeah, yeah. well here, we got a voltmeter. These are not making any sense. No, they're really not. Maybe it's just a garbage voltmeter. Sure, that's probably what it is. <laughs> but a good craftsman always blames his tools. <laughs> um, okay, I will run over and grab a voltmeter. Okay. The lemon should be giving off around a quarter to a third of a volt. Okay, let's test this multimeter. Just a little AAA battery. The battery should be 1.5 volts, right? Yeah, yeah. 1.5 volts. 1.5. This right guy, on. This guy here? Should be 1.5 Should as well. be 1.5. A little uh, wa watch battery. Right. 1.5. 1.5. Right. Perfect. And what do you? Uh, which one's okay, positive? Okay, the and nail negative? is going to be the negative post. Okay. okay, so theoretically that's negative. There. And that's positive. And oh, it's half a double A. Okay, so now, all right, let's do it again. Same thing. Yeah. Okay. Because we we just gotta we just gotta make them attached to each other. That's exciting. All right, we'll do the same deal. When you wrap that around there, I was like, You're dude. Like, <laughs> That's not how science I don't know. works. That's not how the force works. <laughs> I don't know anything about it, but I know but you're wrong. that. <laughs> okay, so in theory, this should give us how much? It was 0.8. It was 0.8. It's 1.6. Oh my God, if this actually, I'm so excited. Dude, dude, dude. Oh, 
Dude, uh, science! Okay, all right, all right. And then now, now, uh, uh, give me something to light up. Something that runs on... Oh, uh, yes, here. This runs on 1.8, so we have 1.72 volts. Maybe, maybe, maybe we can get it. This is a little LED light. Okay. That requires 1.8 to 2 volts. We might, might be able to make this work, right? All right, right? all right, all right. Okay, maybe it's just not enough. You want to add another battery? Let's, let's do a third. Because the voltage is cumulative, right? The, the, yeah. The more batteries we have... Yeah. The more, okay. <laughs> Starting to feel a little mad sciencey here. I love it that we're getting super excited about what is essentially something you learn in fifth grade. Well, you're supposed to learn it in fifth grade. Some of us had to wait until we're grown, full grown men. Yeah. Now we're going to probably have to have like a number of them to power the taser, right? I don't think so because that taser powers off of a single AAA battery. Okay. So that's, that's 1.5 volts right there. Okay. So we've got three, three lemons. And wait for it. 2.5 volts. 2.6. Okay, so, uh, so, so in theory, this should be more than enough. Yeah, I don't get uh, it. What's going on here? All right, let's test this with the regular battery. Okay. Right? And then do one on each side. Okay, see, that works. Well, oh, look, 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 oh look, look. it's lighting up the, okay. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, here, let me see, does it work both ways? No. No, only one way. 1.5, you would need right, two batteries. Right. Here, uh, here, give me another, all right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. So that's three volts. Yeah. We're just shy. This is a three volt, and we're not quite to three volts on here. Is it? No. But see, the green is 1.8 to two. Well, it works at three, and I know we're not to three. So let's try adding one more. One more lemon. One more lemon battery. More lemon. <laughs> <laughs> so in theory, this should be over three volts now, right? I don't. I don't know, man. I don't know either. Yeah, we got nothing. Huh. Do you want to try a, a, a different light? Yeah. Yeah, it could I mean, be. I mean, we not it at all. I mean, we're definitely getting this this output, right? We're getting power from the lemons. This is uh, three to three point two, and so and we are at we're at three point just 4. over three three two. Come on, baby. Oh, hey! it's dim, but that is but full it's definitely on, working. Right? Okay, so it's got the right voltage. It's three volts. In yeah, there. yeah. I'll bet little things like the position, how much of. The uh, uh, anode and cathode is is how exposed. close they are yeah, to each yeah. other. Yeah. I bet we could get this close. Okay, so what we want is one AAA battery to charge the taser, right? Because normally, given enough time, you can hear it charging. This thing eventually gets to red, yeah. which means it's fully charged. The AAA battery is feeding electricity to the capacitor and it's storing it up. We want to use the lemons to feed the electricity to the capacitor. Right, and then so at, at some point you get to. Uh, Jesus, <laughs> that will never, that will never not be scary for me. Okay, so hold this. Okay. And then plug in this side on the other side. Say again, oh, oh, on the other side of the light. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. And then I'm gonna do the negative and the positive for two AAA batteries. Okay. Which should be three volts, which should power. That should light it up. Right. There it is. Okay. Oh, and, so, and very bright too. Yeah. Oh yeah, super bright, okay. okay super bright. So this is the difference between current and voltage. Is that oh. right? Okay. Amps. We Amperage. Don't have amps. Amperage. Okay. So it's just gonna take a really long time to charge. All four of these lit up that blue one, right? Yeah. So let's see what happens if we get four more. No. Uh, oh yeah. And then hook both of them up. If the blue goes twice as much, then that tells me that we're closer to the actual battery. Uh, right? To the amperage that we need. Right. In fact, actually, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Okay. So four lemons equals three volts. So now I'm gonna attach these and it should look like yeah, uh, that's this, that this should blue totally guy work. should should work. Yeah. No? So on the multimeter, oh, look at that, way less. Huh. Way less. I wonder why. Let's do, uh, you know what, here, let's, let's do shoddy tinfoil. And then. I can't imagine that being a very effective. Ha! <laughs> so it does. It can't, you can't have the zinc and the copper touching, otherwise it stops. Okay. But even just putting a piece of aluminum in between them is enough, and it's variable, but 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 that's... A market improvement. Yeah, right? What we're gonna do is try to put them in parallel and see if they cumulatively add to the brightness of that blue one, all right? And then okay. test, test one more time. Great, great, Good. great, great. Good. Okay, great. Fantastic so, results. Uh, all right, so now we can take two of these. Where did the blue one go? Oh, here it connect is. connect them. Okay, these first two. Yeah. Oh, oh. Uh, uh, okay, all right, so we're at 1.5. Okay. This is a, a, a AAA. This is as close to 
uh, regular battery as I think we're gonna get. So we attach this to the positive node and this to the negative node. It's gonna take a long time to charge. I yeah, imagine. not real confident. Feed the capacitor and let's just let it sit for a while. Okay. Maybe a long while? How long? Like five minutes, maybe? Well, and plus also by this point, the charging light should have been Glimmering, at least yeah, a little. Or, or super bright to show that it's charged. Nothing. <gasps> oh! oh, that okay. was proof of concept. Okay, yes. It definitely sparked. Leave it. Leave it for. Let's let's okay. make sure. Let's make yep. sure that that wasn't anything that was latent in there. Okay, okay. Let's give it another five minutes or so. All right, and see if we can get Completely it again. Completely decharge. If uh, we can get yeah. it again, then yeah. that's gonna be a full on. Okay. Wow. There it was. We are at five minutes of trickle charging okay. on the taser. And if you want, we can double check. Let's just make sure we're still outputting what we think we are. Okay. So here, grab those oh, yes. nodes. That's that's a single triple A, right? 1.5 volts, yep. give or take. 1.5, 1 1.6, 1 something now, like uh, that. And obviously the throughput was a little bit different, but it sat there charging for five minutes. Now, normally this thing to get a full charge is maybe 10 seconds. Yeah. I'm hoping that five minutes was enough. If we see any spark. If we spark, see any spark, it's proof of concept. It's enough for us oh to go on. Oh my God. You ready? Yeah. Nothing. Oh, oh. no! Residue left over. Yeah. Mm. Mm. That's not what I wanted to hear. Yeah, that changes things. That puts um, us in a bad spot. Okay, well, hold on. Let's talk about our double battery idea. If we do them in series, we know that the voltage uh, increases, right? The more right. of them in a row, the greater the voltage. Yeah. This is 1.5. These are each 1.5. Together they made three. Mm -hmm. I wonder why this these other two are so much more powerful. Oh, you know what? I bet it is. Is it the placement? I think it's the placement. Here, I'll squeeze these, you squeeze those other two. These right here? Yeah. We can almost get it to three. It's like 2.6. Yeah. Okay, so you know what it is, is we just need more alligator clips. If we had all alligator clips for this. Do you want to get some more alligator clips and come back and do it again? <sighs> uh, uh, uh. So I used a cheat code. Called a friend of mine who's an electrical engineer. He oh, designs DSP chips for Motorola, and he explained to me the fundamentals that were getting totally wrong. The good news is our instincts were right. Okay. We actually, uh, we understood that putting it in series was only upping the voltage, but what we needed was more current, right? Well, right. Uh, more amps, right? Right. So uh, we were correct about our theory about being able to do them in parallel and getting more current that way. But what I did not know is that we can put multiple yeah. cathodes and anodes in the same battery. So in other words, we were trying to figure out a way to keep, you know, make a bunch of individual lemon batteries, but it turns out we can make multiple in one lemon. Okay. And so got... we can use the same wire all the way down. Oh, okay. So, so we got anodes, they're positive, they're going in. Cathodes, they're negative, that's the current coming out. That's correct, that's correct. So in this case, look, we'll take all of these zinc galvanized nails and we'll do four per thing, right? Now we could use the same wire that we were using before, sure. but uh, but the, I feel like the limiting factor was our surface area. So yeah. I ran over and I got some scrap <laughs> that we're gonna be able to make basically copper nails out of. To Did you strip that out of someone's air conditioning I, I, unit like, or something? I'm, I will neither confirm nor deny that at this time, officer. Okay, so, so just we'll like- have copper right, nails and zinc nails, just right? Just like right in here? There you go, yeah. Okay. Second thing is we were nervous about using the copper as the both the wire and the cathode, it doesn't matter once it's outside of the acidic uh, alkaline solution. There we go, and one more. Perfect, okay. So now we're gonna set all these up and we're just gonna run them all in parallel. Now here's the thing, each individual one should have that 1.5 volts, give or take. Really? And the distance does matter, and so if we need to adjust it, as long as the average comes out, to 1.5 over all of them. Some could be a little over, some could be a little under. Okay. Then we're totally good. And we could just run the wire straight down, wrapping around each of these. So here, you go ahead and plug all of these in. So if we do our job right, we'll be able to instantly tell because we'll be able to light the exact same uh, bulb, but much brighter. It's a pretty big if. Pretty big if. This really does look like an IED. <laughs> You thought we looked like mad science before. Oh, you know what? Actually, let's let's use this stuff for, for that. that. That would have been much easier. 
That's what I should have done. Yeah, I was wondering why. I, 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 don't, I don't know. I'm, I, I didn't I'm sorry. Get it. I, I was excited with the knowledge that I finally was on the right track, and I just freaked out, and I don't need you ju judging me. I'm not judging you. I'm just saying. Okay, here, you hold this. Be careful, Brian. You're dealing with forces that we clearly do not understand. I mean, well, granted, but that's that's kind of par for the course. In theory, all of this should be that same 1.5 volts because they're just all in parallel yeah. all the way down. But with more amps. But wait, wait, correct, correct. With with more current, I guess we should use the proper word, right? Okay. Well, shit, I just forgot about watts but, uh, altogether. Dude, I, watts, amps, and volts all have like this weird three-way thing where if one of them gets big and uppity, the other two shrivel and get mad. Okay. Yeah, we're at point, uh, point eight. Great, so let's just do another one of these. Another array of lemons? Yes. Okay. Basically the idea is add and subtract lemons, move stuff farther and closer apart so that you get to the right voltage, and then the current will come from the increased amount of total exposed, you know, cathodes and anodes. Okay. I love that we literally had to take three trips to the hardware store today. Like, I mean, nobody ever accused us of being the most efficiently run <laughs> operation on the internet. The first one was what, uh, 0.8 volts? It was 0.8, yeah. Okay, this guy is also 0.8. 0.89. Right, okay, so now, now, oh my goodness, tell me we're gonna get close. Okay, this one, two, That one, this becomes the positive terminal. This becomes the negative. Moment of truth. Come on, please, please, Moment of truth. please. Cross your fingers, everybody. Baby, 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 1.7, that's close enough for 1. me. 1.7. So we have three milliamps. Uh, let's see what a regular battery does. Six okay. amps? Six amps. So, might take a little while. Okay. But I feel like we should give it one more go. This guy's positive. This guy's negative. Well, we can let it sit for a while and then just do the test and see. Oh, make sure you discharge the capacitor. Uh, oh, well, I mean, it certainly hasn't been charged again since. I heard a little, a little crackle. I'm just gonna bet that there's a lot more wires and stuff here now, and I, I assume it's got a. Yeah. I mean, it seems like it should. In the words of Nikola Tesla, I mean, it's just gotta. It seems like it should. There's more wires. <laughs> And uh, flip it, yeah, to turn the capacitor on. Okay. Did you hear anything? No. I didn't hear anything. It's not, it's, but again, it's like, uh, we're, we're talking about less than one thousandth of the power. So if it takes, if it takes 10 seconds to fully charge with the AAA, what's a thousand times 10 seconds? 10,000 uh, 10, seconds. seconds. It's 167 minutes. Okay, so that's almost three hours, but we don't need a full charge for proof it's of true. concept. It's true. So I'm gonna just say need a spark, just a spark. Say, just a spark. <laughs> I'm gonna say, let's leave this thing charging and check back on it. One day later. All right, dude, this thing is charged overnight. I'm not optimistic. When we tested it yesterday, it was measuring at 1.5 volts, the same as a AAA battery, yeah. right? So it had the voltage, but it didn't have the, the amperes. The, mm -hmm. the current was, was not sufficient. So uh, we left it all night. Theoretically, the capacitor should be taken on charge the entire time. Yeah. But when we did this before, it barely made enough light to illuminate an LED. Here's what I'm worried about. Our homemade stun gun, which by the way, nobody should make at home. The whole way it works is that uh, the button's held down and then it charges up and you know it's charged when the light gets really, really bright. And we don't see any light on here. Right, so the question is, has it been quietly charging the capacitor this entire time or not? or has it been leaking all that energy, that electricity, out through the LED light? I'm gonna say the latter. I don't think we're gonna get any sort of zap off of this whatsoever. Also, what I've learned is that I'm going to take a community college course in electricity. <laughs> You're gonna be get, get a degree have no in idea what we're talking about. Okay, so, so I know this much. I know that, that turning this off, when the AAA is in there, you can remove the battery and it doesn't matter because the capacitor is either charged or not charged at this moment. Right. But let's do one more test on the voltage, just so we know that it worked all night long. Okay, so the says, voltage is less, which we would expect because as this dries up, the electrolyte fluid- The electrolytes, yeah, it's yeah. like a voltaic cell. Yeah, correct. So, so the voltage dropped overnight, which we would expect. It's not gonna work. You but, don't think? No. You ready? Or do you want me to do it? No, here, I'm gonna, in fact, if there's anything to feel, I wanna feel it, right? Sure. If it's truly fully charged, this will be the worst it's ever been. It's not charged at all, I you, bet. You think? 
<laughs> sorry, sorry. This is this is, this is like I, I think love this is my favorite I think, moment. I think you're right too, but all of the episodes should end with you getting zapped. Ready? D d don't don't hold don't, still. Don't, okay, okay. <laughs> don't 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 don't. <sighs> Nothing. Nothing. Uh, see? Son of a bitch. All right. Uh, okay, and to put it in perspective, like even a second here, do we have a, uh, a AAA battery? To put it in perspective, like listen to how fast this charges. Yeah. Uh-oh. Did you put it in wrong? Uh, I might've put the battery in backwards. No, it didn't work at all. Oh, it did, it did, watch. It did? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, you know what? Because you got the battery in backwards. Then that means I saw a charge. What are you talking about? Just then I saw a little bit of discharge. You can hear it just after like five seconds. I didn't get any red light though. There it is. You didn't get any red light? No, there was no red light. Now I'll tell you this much. I did see the smallest little flicker of something happen. Like it didn't shock me mm -hmm. on the arm, but it did go just a little bit, which tells me that something was in their charge. I mean, obviously it was no, uh, nothing like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> At this point, we have to turn it over to the fans who are all smarter than us put together. Yeah. Uh, I, I feel like we're on the right track. We got 1.5 volts, which is the AAA, which was, uh, yeah. and again, nobody make a homemade stun gun. Uh, this can actually kill you. A bunch of people have sent over like, hey man, you shouldn't mess with this. It could stop a heart if it went across the chest. So yes, agree to all of that. But if it was gonna work, could it work on lemons? I assume all we'd have to do is- More lemons. If we have a grid of like 20, 50 lemons, at some point we're gonna have enough juice to actually make this happen. I think one of the problems that we might be running into is that while the capacitor is storing the electricity, it's taking so long that the capacitor might be experiencing some bleed. And plus also, this is a leaky system in that some of the energy goes into the LED light that shows that it's oh, indicated. Sure. And this yeah. was having a hard enough time lighting the LED light. Yeah. But I feel like I feel like we're onto something here. L listen to us pretending like we know what we're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Look, man, we're raw enthusiasm <laughs> and no talent. Yes. Welcome to the modern Rope, my friend. That's right. uh, okay. In the yeah. meantime, you want to eat these lemons? Uh, no. I've got those uh, those uh, miracle fruit and them. No, mm. no. Nom, did that already? Nom, 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 I'm good. Nom, nom, I'll uh, stick with my beer. Okay. Nom, 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 nom. Still, still, still going. Time. Okay. Let's do it.